in 10 previous playoff quarter-final second leg games, the Steelers have only won twice, and only once was the win enough to actually go through. They don't only need to win tonight, they need to win by at least three. A 5-2 defeat in Nottingham following a 4-0 first period has put the Steelers in a hole. The Panthers managed a three-goal second leg comeback five years ago against Brayhead, so it's far from impossible, and the Steelers have beaten the Panthers by three or more at home three times this season already. It's time to see if this whole team can step up and deliver something special. If they can, it'll be a night that'll get talked about for years. Scramble from the face off which the Panthers get the better of. Betteridge. Nudged by Valdix, just took the puck away. Now the Steelers will send it forward. Driving into the offensive zone, War provides a little bit of legal interference. And then Nelson provides another big hit. This time it's Brown in the corner who felt the force of that. In fact, it was Sertic, beg your pardon. Moran fans on the pass. The Steelers will try and take advantage. Panthers are back in numbers. The Steelers will have to just hold on to this for a moment and wait for support to arrive. Walker, Valdix. Swept across to the far side. Angle shot comes through, tipped in front, and then is he going to get across the line? The Steelers celebrate! The Steelers celebrate! But what's the call? Have they given it? I think they have! The Panthers say no. Vingman thought he recovered in time. But everyone in Orange is on their feet and celebrating. We'll take a look. Oh, is there a little bit of white line there? Maybe there is, it's so hard to tell. But the goal has been given, it's confirmed now. And if the Steelers do complete a massive comeback, there is going to be one almighty controversy about the goal that started it. Now Dowd. Robert Dowd has been in such good form recently, and he tests Beekman again with another good low shot. And Dowd is down, and he's not getting back up. And play will be whistled dead. Nothing has been seen by any of the officials. But Robert Dowd is down. Didn't have a lot of other options at this stage. He wanted to take the shot on. Oh, and it's a glove to the face as he tries to make the check. Steelers would love to take advantage. And their time in the offensive zone. Coyle sends it across to the far corner. Nicky Forok. Hit into the board. Oh, and this one is going to be called against Armstrong. And there maybe could have been a boarding court earlier, but there will be one now. And the Panthers fans are celebrating this one. The Steelers will be happy with their first 50 seconds of killing. Panthers beat the blue line. They'll get a shot in. Mustakovs will make a great save once and twice. That's fantastic. The follow-up from Lawrence in particular. He had no right to get a foot to. They say your netminder has to be your best penalty killer sometimes. Well, Mustakovs was excellent there. Coyle gloves this one down and immediately gets the Steelers moving forward to Fretta. Armstrong. Armstrong's got the step on Williams. Oh, and a big collision. And the puck is in, but the goal won't count. The collision with the netminder, and it's immediately waved off. Oh, and the rough stuff will come in. We saw it against Coventry with Armstrong driving the net. And this time, there's a couple of players off balance, and there's no surprise that that one was whistled dead before the puck was put in. Meanwhile, the punches and the grappling continues just outside the crease. Vickman stays down, and there's now real concern for Mika Vickman because he had a couple of players landing on him, one from each side. There was no penalty call on the play that I could see. The goal was immediately washed out. There's no question that the goal won't be allowed to stand. Stretcher up onto the ice, and I'm pleased to say they've done so successfully. And a warm round of applause from all around the Sheffield Arena. Fans of both sides. And so Dan Green comes into the game. Going behind the goal, Moran. Nicky Forrook steps away from the crease. He's onto possession now. Oh, fan as it went back towards Moran, and Saric got a bit of a stick in. And then again, a couple of good interventions from Saric. And then Phillips barrels forward, and here's Dan Green's first test against Phillips. Brilliant! Oh, what?
What a goal from the captain! One shot, one goal on green, and the Steelers are back within one. It was Saric whose persistence made it to get it out of the zone, and Spang couldn't get back, and Green couldn't kick out the leg far enough. And what a reaction from Jonathan Phillips and this Steelers crowd. It's back to 5-4 on aggregate. A short-handed goal. The Steelers haven't got many of those this season. They may never have scored a bigger one. Oh, opportunity, chance on Green, it's gone underneath him. The Steelers are level on aggregate. Straight from the face-off, they went straight at Dan Green and they found the gap underneath. And the Sheffield Steelers have got themselves level on aggregate. Steelers trying to trap them from getting the puck down the boards on this near side. It was really good from the Panthers and in particular from Lakovic to be persistent and force the puck away. Steelers will reset and rebuild. Steelers are 0 for 3 on the power play so far tonight. Power play goal right now would raise the roof off this building. Nielsen. Davian. Shot comes in, it was well blocked. It was Dowd who had the attempt. Davian's trying to provide the screen. Here's Nelson. Oh, he just took his eye off the puck and it slipped past him. Back to the blue line. One timer. Oh, it flashed past everything. Valdix with a turn away from Lakovic. Back to the blue line. Here's Nelson, assessing his options. The shot comes in, it's saved up high by Green. There's still a shooting chance for the Steelers. It comes through, it takes a couple of deflections. It's sitting loose at the front. There's still a chance for the Steelers. The Panthers are in chaos at the moment. The crowd rises. Is this the moment? It is! Oh, yes, it is! 4-0 down in the first period on Saturday night. The Steelers now lead by six goals to five. This is incredible. Looked like it was down. I don't think it was tipped on route. What a moment. One minute and 52 seconds remaining. And Corey Nielsen and Paul Thompson have 30 seconds to chat to their team. Six on five. 40 seconds, the Nottingham Panthers' last chance to save themselves in this season's playoffs. Face-off is won by Williams, back to Clark. Into the corner, Farmer, it'll come back to David Clark, he'll bomb one, it's blocked in front, and the shot will be wide of the empty net and it'll bring about icing. Face-off win for the Panthers. Is the time for one last block, there is from Debian. They might need another one. Oh, what a goal for the Panthers! They've tied it with eight seconds left. They use the extra skater, and Mustakovs is beaten. The Steelers fans are stunned. The shot was from Schultz, and it's the Panthers fans who celebrate. Ten minutes of four-on-four four overtime, and if needed, followed by five minutes of three-on-three three overtime. There's a hero out there somewhere. They're either in orange or they're in white. Steelers trying to play the puck out of their zone. And they'll lose it in neutral ice. Given back to the Steelers. No route into the offensive zone. Possession back with the Panthers. It's been an incredible night. So much drama, so much controversy. So many incidents that'll get talked about for so long. But there's one huge moment still to come. Nicky Foruk, Lawrence with the first shot of overtime, it gets blocked and now the Steelers will try and counter. War the only back for the Panther, played in front, shot on goal, Green has saved it and the Nets come free. Face-off one, back to McMillan. He'll take the shot on, it'll flash wide. 
It'll bounce back out. It's blocked in front of Mustakovs, and he scrambles and gets a pad on it. Oh, it was desperate stuff for a moment. Here's Clark. Puck gets away from him, and the Steelers are back onto it. Steelers will attack Dan Green. They'll score! They'll score! And they'll win it! It's DBN! And it's glory for the Steelers! The comeback is completed in overtime! Who thought this was possible after one period of the game? After seven periods of the game, the Sheffield Steelers will play in the final four. Both of these teams will be in Nottingham next week. But the Panthers will be at home. The Steelers will be in the semi-finals. 61-39 the time of the overtime goal. Guillaume Debien, the match winner, is the Sheffield Steelers man of the match. All the drama of a seven-game series crammed into two. And Guillaume Debien with a moment that'll never be forgotten by all the Steelers fans who witnessed it. Great celebrations to end the Sheffield Steelers season here at the Sheffield Arena. So that concludes another season of Steelers hockey on Steelers TV Live. Our thanks go to everyone who has tuned in for a live webcast or watched the highlights packages. Your thanks should go to Jason, Ron, Douse, Scott, Liam, Elliot, Matt, Liz, Mick, Martin and Dave for making it all possible. This is Jonathan Fernley signing off and wishing you all a very happy summer. Paul, for uh, once in my life, I'm at a loss for words. Just explain the, the feelings going through your head right now, because firstly, what an incredible night. Yeah, no, it was. And uh, that one was for my wife tonight, because uh, she's the one that picked me up yesterday and, uh, you know, and got me refocused. And, you know, we had a plan today. Uh, we knew we had eight, nine bad minutes yesterday, not 60 minutes. And that was for all the fans that don't doubt us and don't criticise us and don't slag us off. You know, because the world is just a blame society we live in now. And uh, who, who's, gonna, who's blaming who tonight? You know, Corey Nelson will get back to the same lot of rubbish that I get, you know, when we lose games. And, you know, he went out there to try and win. I went out there to try and win. We came the right way tonight. And uh, so, you know, we're with the positive people and the people that believe in us. It was always going to be important to score first, wasn't it? And, and to get that first goal. We, we played so well before then as well. You know, we had a very frank meeting before the game. We had a very frank meeting after yesterday's game. And, uh, and sometimes you've got, to, uh, you've got to push buttons. And, 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 you know, and I can only give credit to my group. And, uh, you know, I mean, the way we're talked about right now is as if it's, it, you know, we're some disastrous hockey club. You know, we lose in the final. We, OK, we finish third in the league. We have a great Champions League run. We get our first points in that. And, you know, and we've come down from a 3-0 deficit to beat the Nottingham Panthers. And, and I think, you know, we've, we've, we've been better than the Panthers. And I'm not rubbing the Panthers' nose in it, but we've been far better than them all year, pretty much in most of the games. And especially, you know, we had one bad one here on the 26th. But I hope we grow from today, because I felt when we have had to meet a task, we, we haven't met it head on. Well, we did today. And uh, I'm so proud of all of them. OK, talk us through it then. First one, Nelson. Your, your thoughts at that point when you got that first goal because you said to me before the start of the game that you said look stages stages climbing the mountain slowly we talked about layers you know getting layers from our own end and building out from our own end and we put on the board you know period four you know we have to win period four I want to come in and put a big fat tick on it and you know we kind of visualized what we wanted to do I said we just want to win the period that's all we want to do let's win the period and we did that and then period five Oh, boys, you're not good enough. You're really not good enough. And that was it. You know, and that was the, the, the theme that we went with. You're not playing hard enough. You're not working hard enough. You're not battling hard enough. We won that. And six. And then, you know, to, to, to have that six on five goal going with eight seconds to go. And I walked in afterwards after the period and I said, hey, we are exactly where we need to be. 
We said before the game what we'd do to get into overtime, what it would be. And this is our best period of the year, period seven right now. And then Desi scores that wonder goal and it's just elation. You know, it's just elation at that point. And, uh, you know, we're all, we're all mentally, well, the staff are more mentally tired and I must give them a great mention. And, and, and the players are both because it drains you. It takes a lot out of you. But um, I'm proud of the way they stuck together today. And, uh, you know, in the line of some of the rubbish that comes at us, sports people. They've stuck together and they've, they've proved once again that uh, they're a strong group and they're good people. Whether we're the best team in the league or not this year, no, we haven't been in the league. But we could finish the last week of the season by hopefully being the best team. And that's our aim. And we'll do everything we can to be that. If we don't, it won't be for the one to try and. Just quickly talk to me about Jonathan Phillips' short-handed goal. Great effort, great work. I thought Phillips today was why he's the captain of this hockey club and why he's been the captain of this hockey club for so many years. And uh, we had to kill that five-minute penalty and, and God knows. And I hope Wickman, he's a good, good guy. You know, around the league, everybody talks about him. He's a good guy and he's a great goalie and I hope he's fine. I mean, you don't want to see anyone with injuries. But, you know, it wasn't an intentional injury. Intentional injury. The guy was going to an end. And I believe their player bumped into him before John, as he came through, fell on top of him. So... You know, you don't want to see anybody getting hurt. And we get a five-minute penalty. You know, if someone gets hurt up the wall, and you know, from a hit, you don't get a five-minute penalty from that because they're hurt. So I thought that the decision was wrong by the referees. But what it did do, it spurned us on. We killed an unbelievable five-minute power play, major power play there. And Jono ends up getting a short-handed goal. And him, Desi, Marcus, I mean, everybody was on their game tonight. I thought the D battled. You know, did what they had to do. We were disciplined. We were sticks on pucks, and we skated, and we were relentless tonight. So, and then Desi getting the the game winner just shows you the kind of character that guy's got. <laughs>